Hey everybody, what's up? Startup Survival here, and I absolutely love camouflage, don't you? Check out this awesome BDU pattern on this Victorinox climber. This is a sort of medium sized Victorinox knife, uh, Swiss Army knife, uh, and I, I've got a few more in the background here to show you so I can kind of put this in perspective of where it fits into the lineup. But this is sort of a intermediate to large size Victorinox. Uh, and I think this knife would be absolutely perfect for somebody who is an urban person uh, into EDC. Uh, here's a Spyderco Paramilitary 2. Just gonna, I just wanted to show you the uh, the other sort of camouflage op options you got out there. So this is BDU, and I think this is ACU. Um, so this is a more modern camo pattern. Uh, I actually kind of like this. I, I like all camouflage, honestly, but I kind of like this one. It's cool. It's kind of a throwback. It looks like something from like the Vietnam era or something like that. Uh, in the background here, I've got a couple more. Uh, you can see I've got, a, I really like camouflage, right? Not all of these are my knives. These three are mine, and then this one is a guest, uh, guest knife. But uh, I absolutely love this series. I just think it's so cool, and that's why I bought um, all of them. And this one was actually bought as a gift for somebody. But here we got the Huntsman, we got the Spartan, and here is the Classic. And the, the Climber fits in right here, as far as I know. Sorry, it goes like that. So you can kind of see how it fits in in terms of thickness as well. Like this is pretty minimalist, uh, this, this one right here. And uh, the Spartan, of course, everybody knows the Spartan. It's a two level tool. Um, so you have one, two, three, four, five. They always say there's like 15 tools on these things, but I mean, to me, it's like how many actual dedicated tools are there? And then you go up here and you've got another level, right? So now you're up to three levels. So you've increased your tool set by a couple at least and then if you go all the way to the huntsman you're at four levels and this is probably too big for most people um, to EDC anyways uh, I think most people are going to gravitate towards like the Spartan and the classic but um, there's some there's a, definitely a place for the climber so Victorinox uh, markets this as kind of a, a lightweight uh, backcountry blade for people who are into climbing I suppose so uh, let's take a look at the tool set and we'll see uh, see what it's like. So you've got the, the same blade that you have on the Spartan and the Huntsman. Uh, very standard Swiss Army blade. Uh, I love it. You can see the sort of mirror finish um, back there behind the camera. Um, yeah, I like that blade. It's just a full flat ground. I uh, don't know what the steel is. It's just like a stainless steel. Um, but it's cool. I've sharpened these knives before and they're easy to get really sharp again. Uh, just a great utility knife overall. So it's got the main blade. And then I believe there's a small secondary blade here. Um, and I've heard or I've read somewhere that these blades are made of a different material than the primary blade. I don't actually know if that's true because they never say what the blade steel is on here, but I've read that somewhere on a forum. Uh, and I think this one's a little softer is what, the, is what I recall from that. But who knows, it would make sense for them to be made of the same blade material. But anyways, you got a secondary blade there. So I think most of the time I use the big blade because uh, that's just what I can find easier. But uh, you got a secondary blade here. Uh, you know what they say about knives, right? If it's a dull blade, it's a dangerous blade. So now let's look at sort of the middle section here. And this is why I love the climber so much actually, is because it has scissors on it. Scissors for me are extremely important on multi-tools and Swiss Army knives and that sort of stuff. Uh, here is a Leatherman Wave. I'll just kind of bring out the scissors here so you can have a check, uh, take, the, take a look at those. Where are my scissors? Here they are. So it's actually interesting that in such a large package um, of, a, of a Leatherman Wave here, uh, which probably weighs two or three times what this uh, climber does, uh, you can see the scissors there are actually quite a bit smaller. So these scissors on the Victorinox are absolutely awesome. Uh, I mean, the, the Leatherman scissors are great too, but you can just see like in terms of pure size, the, uh, the, the Victorinox dominates the scissors on the Leatherman. <coughs> so. Uh, scissors are very important to me because I think in the urban environment you may have to cut like uh, a piece of paper or something like that for instance, right? Or, or open a package, but having uh, scissors, those two blades that are just so easy to use, are, are awesome. Um, out in nature, um, I think scissors start to use, uh, sorry, lose their usefulness because you can do most things with a, with a plain edge blade or possibly a serrated blade. Uh, so I don't think scissors are quite as necessary in nature. The one place I will say that they are necessary, for me at least, is fishing. And uh, I'll just show you my fishing kit here. So I got this little like Kogan's bag and inside here I got like my lures and my weights and all that kind of stuff. And what I find is uh, when you're out there tying like leaders and, uh, and tying um, 
lures and stuff onto the line um, that having a uh, pair of scissors is awesome because once you tie your knot you can just clip it off like that or say you get a snag or something you can just clip off the line you can use a knife as well but I just find the scissors are awesome uh, so something like that would be great I think it could fit into a system like that the one thing I'll say though is that when I'm fishing I take a Leatherman every single time because I want the pliers right so I think as far as a dedicated fishing tool the Leatherman uh, wave is awesome uh, there's there's some other Leathermans too, uh, and I know I'm kind of like um, digressing here, but um, anyways, like here's a rebar for example, and I think a rebar is a pretty cool like high value tool, but there are no scissors in the rebar, and that's something that's held me back from getting it. Um, anyways, I really like having scissors, and this uh, this climber here has the scissors. Uh, what else does it have? It has the um, this uh, plain edge screwdriver with a bottle opener, and I th I forget what this little nick here does, but I never use it for anything. I don't know. It, it must do something, but whatever. Um, so yeah, that's kind of an elegant little tool there. And I mean, sometimes, like I said, these tools try to claim they have like a lot more tools in them than they actually do. But I mean, this is a legitimate flathead screwdriver with a bottle opener under it. On the other side, I think we're going to have the can opener. Yep, that's the can opener. You can also open bottles with this. Sometimes they don't even have a bottle opener. Sometimes you can just use this thing. It's going to smash the cap a little, but you, it, it'll work. Uh, and then you've got the smaller flathead screwdriver here. To me, this is not really like an, an, an additional tool. Actually, I think this could be used for a Phillips. Uh, maybe that's why it's different or whatever. But um, I don't know. That's not like a tool in and of itself, in my opinion. You could use, you could use the other side for most things. Um, but yeah, I've used the can opener before. Um, I can get it done. Uh, obviously, I prefer a real can opener. But um, yeah, if you're out in the field somewhere, some people take cans into the backcountry. So something like this uh, might be really useful for somebody. And I've used it actually a lot on my Victorian Oxes, so it's useful. Uh, you got a corkscrew here. Um, that's cool too. I've used that to uh, open a lot of bottles of wine over the years. Not on this particular model, but um, other ones. And I can say this works just as good as any other corkscrew. And uh, I've mentioned this on some other reviews, I think, of Victorinoxes, but you know, um, these are legal in, in like Europe and, and many places where a dedicated folder like a paramilitary 2 would not be legal because it locks open, right? And and of course the the Victorinox is a slip joint, right? So it uh, it does not lock. Uh, so in countries with uh, a lot of legislation about carrying knives and weapons and things like that, these are still legal. Uh, I actually bought this one in Mexico, right? Uh, anyhow, uh, obviously it's not a tactical knife, right? Like uh, you can't stab with it or it's going to fold. However, uh, one thing I will point out. Um, is that uh, if you sort of wedge this in between your fingers like this, um, it's not going to fold. And even if it does, it might hurt your finger a little, but it's not, it's not going to like kill you or anything. Uh, but anyways, I mean, that could be a weapon right there. There's many, many things in the world that could be weapons, right? Uh, you know, like uh, a hot candle with wax could be a weapon. You could throw it at somebody, right? Um, so I think that uh, a lot of countries really are barking up the wrong tree by uh, creating a lot, of, a lot of legislation about weapons and what, what civilians can carry and stuff like that. Like anything can be a weapon if we're honest, right? But the primary job, of course, is to open wine bottles. Uh, so if you're a wine drinker, uh, awesome, here you go. It works just as good as a regular corkscrew. You just screw it in and pull really hard and eventually that, cap, uh, that cork will come out. The last tool here, which is actually kind of challenging to get out for me anyways, let me just see if I can do it off camera. I will find a way. Yeah, this is a design flaw, in my opinion, uh, of this particular knife. That this hook at the back here, I had to use another, I had to use a multi tool to actually pull that out. Um, but yeah, this hook here is, is tough to get out, but that is the final tool. And apparently, what this is for is for like lifting and carrying things. Uh, I find that to be kind of a useless feature to be honest with you and uh, unlike the other tools you can kind of you can move it to different positions it doesn't lock quite as firmly like the spring goes back so far and then you can still pull it a bit further uh, but anyways I don't know if you're lifting like pots off the fire or something like that like a metal uh, that had like a metal loop on it or whatever like I mean I suppose it could work for that or I mean I guess you could carry anything technically but I don't know why you would use that maybe if you had something that was attached to, like a rope or something like that it would be easier to carry it that way rather than like wrapping it around your hand. I don't know, just one of those uh, extra tools that I'm not too sure what to do with it, but that's my best guess. If anybody knows, definitely leave a comment. 
But yeah, so this is the Victorinox Climber. Uh, like I said before, it kind of fits in in between the Spartan and the Huntsman. And it's a nice light tool. Um, like overall, it's not as bulky as the Huntsman. The one thing that you're losing out on with the, uh, with the Climber is you do not get the saw. So if that is very important to you for outdoor use, you can always upgrade to the Huntsman. And then you get the scissors and the saw. Uh, so it's kind of the best of both worlds, and then you still get that weird hook on the on the back there. I believe that's the principal difference between the Huntsman and the Climber, is that you get an extra level, and that is the saw. Anyways, like I said before, I absolutely love Victorinox. I think they're so cool, and I love this line right here. I, I don't know if that's the complete family or not. I looked on the Victorinox website, and I couldn't find the uh, Climber in camo anymore, so I don't know if that's been discontinued or if it was just a limited thing. But uh, if you like these camo uh, Victorinoxes, go out and get them because they're pretty much the same price as the as the red ones, the red and the black ones, uh, in my opinion, like a, maybe a couple bucks more expensive. But in my experience, Victorinox lasts forever and getting one in camo, that's pretty cool. Uh, I don't know what this is going to look like with time because I haven't like hard used any of these yet. I've kind of taken them out a little bit. This one's going on my keychain right now. Uh, but I don't know if they're going to get scratched up and look a little, you know, dinged up or whatever. But here's a red one, and this is my oldest one. This is probably five or seven years old, and it doesn't look bad at all. So Victorinox is wear very well. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Victorinox Climber, pretty cool knife.